Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Sabans. I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show. We we'll cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, to base entertainment. And we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. Uh, and today we got a hell of a show for you guys. Before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. And also, if you want our full show, be sure to make sure you check it out uh, on the Dreamers Pro podcast we have pinned uh, below. Let me get into this topic here. And this is um, <clears throat> this is a topic I've been dying to get to. As you guys know, the NBA is going through um, a lot of bad, it's having a lot of bad press right now because of the All Star Weekend that, they, that we just that they just forced us to, to you know to witness, um, and it was one of their lowest. It was their, their it was amongst the top two lowest rated games in terms of in terms excuse me of people tuning in to watch. But for whatever reason, you still have some people out there in media just twerking it up all over the place, knocking over drinks, just basically lying uh, to fans, promoting something that they know is really really. Uh, not good, but one person <clears throat> isn't doing that. And who is that person? That person is Rob Parker. Now, one of my favorite shows that I watch whenever I get a chance to watch it uh, is The Odd Couple with Chris Broussard and Rob Parker. I think they're a great duo and they have a great show. This is just my opinion. They're one of my favorite shows that I watch. Uh, and recently they put out a litany of segments, but one of the segments was centered on Rob Parker essentially obliterating uh adam silver for the job he is doing uh as an nba commissioner so before we go any further we want to play exactly what rob parker had to say here and i'm going to come back and react to this comment take a listen to what rob what rob parker had to say there. take a listen to that this is a adam silver problem mm. i think adam silver is by far the worst commissioner uh, currently in sports. Wow. And Adam Silver, Chris, went exact opposite. I, I, I was a critic of David Stearns on some stuff, okay? I was, where I thought he stepped over the boundaries, over the line, especially especially with the no dress code. Intended. Like, seriously, with the, like the dress yeah. code bothered me, like, really. And that's... That kind of began fading as, you know. Right. But that time. but that's where I thought he overstepped his boundaries. He also changed the basketball without talking to the players. Uh, there was stuff like that where I thought mm -hmm. he was out of bounds, Chris. But Adam Silver went the exact opposite where he gave in and was going to be the commissioner of the players. And you know who pays them, the owners. Right. And I thought it's it's bitten him in the butt. Because they've taken, you know, they say you give a guy an inch, he'll take a foot. The players have taken three feet, Chris, away from Adam Silver. And what I mean is, forget about just uh, him talking up, this is going to be competitive and this could be fun and all this stuff and, and not, not happening. But we've seen this marquee game after marquee game where these guys don't play. We've talked about it on this very radio show, Chris, where we're ready for a game and a matchup, right? We're going to watch as soon as we get off the air. Yep. And we don't get it because there's some guy not playing. And I'm not, and I'm not I'm, Adam Silver's not playing. I get it. But I don't believe that the commissioner has set the right parameters to let guys know that this is not – good for the health of the league. It ain't just about you. And I know the NFL always pushed this out there, Chris. Protect the shield. Adam Silver has not protected the NBA. He hasn't. He's let the fans down. He's disappointed the TV networks. This is not your dad's NBA. And I'm not trying to be Mr. Old Man and, hey, you kids, get off my lawn. And things change. I'm player empowerment and all that. But but you, you, you can't let players damage the long-term health of the league. And after that All-Star game, Chris, you might have lost some people who were on the fence, who are just like, uh, you know, this NBA, I can't get with this. What was that? When we don't have competition, somebody called and said it earlier, Chris. It's the WWE. Is that where we're going with the NBA? Where we're watching fake games? Go we're out never, there and fake never. it. So you heard what he had to say. I 100% concur with him. 
I agree with every single thing that he said. Let me give you guys some data here. 19 hours ago, we put up a poll and you guys can go vote on our channel. And we said, is Adam Silver a soft commissioner? Of the 12,000 voters, make sure you go leave your vote. 88% of them said yes. 88%. This channel is predominantly a basketball channel. So that 88% is real. Let me read you one comment. One person says, Anthony Hunter says, the players don't respect him. David Stern was respected. Another person said, milking the paying customer with an awful product. Another person said, Hill Power. He hand, how he handled Draymond says everything. Another person said, Soft is putting it nicely. Another person said, he commands respect, respect like soggy milk toast. Um, another person said, super charming on uh, on Draymond Green. Another person said, he's a he's cotton candy soft as a commissioner. Softer than butter, it just keeps going on and on and on and on and on, on and on and on. That's what NBA fans think about um, Adam Silver. Now, the question is why? The question is why? I was saying it to myself the other day as I was cooking and I said to myself, I'm like, man, if I was an employee, I would love to work for Adam Silver because I know I wouldn't have to deliver and I still won't get fired. It would be awesome to work for him. He will agree to everything that I, the, the, uh, uh, every request that I, that I, that I hand him. Oh, you're sure. Why not? You don't want to, oh, sure. Why not? Why not? You don't want to work? You don't work half the hours, get to get the same paycheck? Oh, I'm sure. Why not? Let's look for some data that supports it and let's do it. Let's do it. <clears throat> if you guys don't know, do you know that Adam Silver was one of the biggest proponents for load management? Do you know this? Do you know Adam Silver was the one going out there and saying, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, we have the data says, the data says, and I was always saying, I said, this thing is a hoax. I was saying this for years. He was the one pushing for it. He was the one pushing for it. Then recently turned around and said, well, according to the data, it proves that uh, we, we found that there's no correlation between low management and players getting less injured. What? What? So basically... The fans were stuck with the bill while not seeing the players that you market just for you to turn around a few years later and say, oh, well, I'm sorry. It looks like we were wrong. It looks like we were wrong. I think Adam Silvers is way too friendly as a boss. Why he decided that he wants to be a player friendly commissioner, I don't know. I don't know. The word around the NBA streets, I've heard Rashard McCann, I've heard other of them say they all think he's soft. And Adam Silvers thinks he's being agreeable by, okay, let me hear what they have to say. Let me hear what he has to say. Let me hear what this guy has to say. Not realizing that these dudes are taking him for a ride. Look at the example of John Moran. John Moran had the incident. Then he had the other incident when he went to go meet the commissioner and told him, I'm not going to do anything. And what did he do? Turn around and did the exact same thing. Turn around and did the exact same thing. And then the way that the players rewarded him for him being so pro player was to totally embarrass him on all-star night. So Adam Silver has to take the brunt of this, this blame because as an NBA fan, which I am and someone that patronizes the product, I am not happy. And I believe I represent a viewpoint of a lot of people. We are not happy with this current product and the way that it's trending. We are not happy. Even one of the legends in NBA history, Larry Bird, was embarrassed by what he saw. No one is happy. And it seems to me Adam Silvers is not listening to his fans. All he's looking at is ratings, clicks, engagement, impressions. Things that nobody can. Just because somebody watched something or saw something doesn't mean it was good. An impression simply means it was shown. That's all. But does, does it mean that what you what was shown was good? Well, no. So why are you using it as a metric of success? That's the latest one. We generated X amount of impression. Who cares? The game was horrible for the people that watched. 
Why are you more focused on superficial data than the actual product itself? To me, man, I think it's a shame. I think something needs to be done. And I 100% agree with everything that Rob Parker, everyone is unhappy with the situation, except for a select few who love to pander. These are my thoughts. Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. We catch you on the next show. Peace.